Good morning everyone, my name is Christian from Two-Headed Wolf Gaming and welcome back to Fronts of Britannia with our Sirson campaign. During this last episode that I just recorded, we fought in the area and we fought back a bunch of armies like trying to take over our territories, trying to scatter our armies around and now we are in a pretty good position, Sudeir keeps bringing 10 stack armies but unfortunately for us, we've taken most of them out. We have only this army here, uh, which is almost at a full stack. We are actually going to provide them with a few more troops. I think we have the javelins. Another cav unit would be great. So let's do that. Or actually we would need something to take over these walls. So maybe another sword unit would be great and another axe unit so now we have this 18 stack army which we as soon as we, it is fully replenished as soon as we take over uh, we take down this army which no. will be taking some attrition in the mountains during winter as soon as we take this army out we might be just able to go ahead and besiege this settlement take it over and that's going to be wonderful if we take this over, then we can Not go possible. here in the mountains, take this town, if Tratclute won't. And I think at that point we are in a pretty good position to start building our economy, actually go to the west, take over Sudeyar's land, slowly sail to the south, where we can go for the, the objective that we have on hand. Let's see, where was it? Objectives... For the Stone of Destiny, we need this particular town. Perfect. It's uh, my biggest fear was that North Lode might take over this uh, city, which might mean a huge war. Vassalize or eliminate. Vassalize or eliminate. Strat Clued there. If we take a look at Short Kingdom Victory, we need this town. We are going to go to war with Strat Clued soon. We need this town, we might actually force them into, into being vassalized, we will see. We will need this town, so definitely have to start going to war with North Lodet in the near future. Yarmoreb, it's here, we're gonna take it over and Loden from Northumbra. So this is for the Short Kingdom victory, we want to see if we can change the name from Sursen to something else. Providing us with extra bonus near the loyalty and the extra income from churches. As far as sh the short fame victory which we are going for. Let's see, where is the Scone Abbey? We have the Scone Abbey here. We will need to upgrade this town. And we will start on that pretty soon. The Cathedral of St. Columb. Like these, these are a bit more different than... Oh, because these are in the settlement. So the Abbey of St. Columb. Like other churches founded by the great St. Columb, this Abbey is a place of great religious renown. Okay, interesting. Uh, what else did we need? We will need Sally de Grand Abbey. Ah. Which, oh, it's uh, instead of, it's the Gaelic, right, version of the normal churches, so it's a simple building. And the Royal Monastery, which is a simple monastery town, but upgraded to the maximum. Okay, so, some requirements, not a whole lot, nothing that we can't actually achieve. In the short run and then we'll look at the next ones when we go for the long fame victory for the moment let's just wait are they taking over the town yes that is good for us because we can take it over we just stopped him here yeah he's he got some new troops but that's not going to be uh, a real big plus for him Can't be done. 
War is what we do best. War is what we do best. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Okay, so the forces, their forces are are not that great. So they have some they have a bunch of long axes. They have these spear herdmen which are level 2. This is the tougher units, the general there. And as far as their cavalry goes, I don't think it's going to be that uh, that big of a uh, that difficult of a battle. Doom very evenly. Do not doom one doom to the rich, another to the poor, nor doom one doom to your friend, another to your foe. I don't know what he meant there. During fog, no, dry weather. Let's see. We have a huge hill. We are on the hill. That is really good for us. Javelins here. Spears. Spearmen, we are going to keep you like this. And like this. Do this particular cav unit there. For the more reinforced troops. We're going to bring you like this. The more depleted troops I'm going to keep in the back. They have encouragement. These black blades. Let's take a quick look at the black blades. Pretty nice. Pretty nice looking. Beautiful shields. And for our general, we'll go, we're going to keep him like this. Our dogs will be staying... Somewhere like here. Ready. Let's start the battle. Let's. Ooh. As you come They're out. really downhill. Drive the horses. So let's try Make to push. Let's see what they want to do. They're just going to stay downhill. The scout and the horseman on that side. There's another scout here. For these two spear units, I would like to bring like here. Actually with everybody, let's go for just a tiny bit. He's repositioning again. Well. I guess it's about time to move our spearmen up. Let's go on normal speed. We're gonna move the horses on that side. We're gonna go forward with our spearmen as well. And I think at this point... Let's go ahead and engage them. I want to Dark snipe what his, Make them fear us. his general first of all. Swordsman, run warriors. We're gonna Cheer. bring forth our general Ride as well and also the dogs. Ready for war. Quick march. Let's see if we go like this. They got the jump on us. Making ready. It's hard. Don't hold back. Bring them in hit hard. There we have it. Let's do like that. Eastman fighters will engage like this. Nice, we've intercepted those charges. With the javelin man, let's see what else. Long axis here. So I want to throw a bunch of javelins in there. With the dog I want to bring here. With our general, let's bring him up as well. Nice. We've taken care of those troops. Nice. 
routed. They are leaving the field. Good. We are good in the sense that we've made our way through here. Not that great on the battle. Okay, let's take those troops in the back. Actually, let's leave them back here. Let's bring this here. Long axes intercepting our cavalry. This spear unit come here. I understand you go after those javelins. And I want this here. Not great, not bad, just okay. They're going to really do a number on this pyramid right now. Okay, that cat can go ahead after those archers. These spears. They've almost cornered those troops. What else could we do? I'm gonna bring our cav, our general through here. I want to go in the back of these troops. Our general being pretty good at melee. And his melee skill is 54, so you can imagine that they're doing pretty well, all things considered. War dogs, you come engage here. If that is still a possibility. Javelins, you stay back. Let's take them off fire at will. Okay, they've taken over there. Let's see, our cavalry will try to go after those Eastman axe. And it's nice. Whew, I haven't woken up just yet. Need a bit more coffee. Hmm. Absolutely delicious. But I'm about to record a totally new game, which I've waited to bring up for a while now, so stay tuned. Right then. There we have it. Our we just managed to capture, to take out all the armies of Sudear for the moment at least, which means that we can now start marching south. We're going to go besiege this settlement as soon as we have some Not replenishment. Possible. I'm actually going to bring our wonderful king here we're going to try to take this army out before anybody else don't think we'll succeed though if i look at it and something else that we'll do is actually after that come down to strat Clute. we are going to declare war on him that is that is my game plan so what I'll do with Forward this with army is bring him back. I think we can... We are not taxing this area. We are at 4 stability. We can go ahead and get that extra money in. And with this particular territory we are not taxing it either. Can we afford this? I think we can. At least for one turn, we definitely can, right? One turn, yes. Now, he plays it safe, plus one to commanding from uh, for attacking weaker targets. Armoreb, 
Unfortunately, we cannot keep this area safe, so we're just going to take it off taxing for right now. I wonder if we could actually vassalize this particular military allied. I think we should have the same blood, so maybe we would be able to, to spend 20 legitimacy in order to annex them, I'm thinking. He is no more. Uh, a boy died. Mission succeeded. So, because he's our military ally, he did provide us with this. We are now at plus 5 melee skills for all our units in all armies, plus 15% income from vassals, and plus 30% tax. tax rate. Ayed, our king, gained upgraded equipment from the iron building chain, providing us with plus one to morale, that's good. Regan gained enforced orders from Muthil, plus three to command, and he also became, or no, this male Domneg from Abbey became contemplative, plus three to unit morale, the level three trait, which is absolutely wonderful. Let's move these troops up a tiny bit. Our every foe shall fall. We are going to put them into, uh, what is this, the fortified stance, get some replenishment, and I think, think that on the next turn we're actually going to go ahead and besiege the area. None. That's my game plan, at least at this point. No chance. Is Approach he them. at war with and anybody else? Good. No, he is not. He was just going up. Through where could I march? Well, apparently through here we do not, ha do not have military what access. What do I owe the pleasure of your company? Um, annex? They would not accept it. No good. Why don't they accept it? Because we had a diplomatic marriage with the enemy. Create vassal kingdom? No. Military access? Not a deal I doesn't want that if we break the alliance will become untrustworthy we'll lose a lot of legitimacy so I think what we'll do is come back home here Our bravery is legendary. we are going to build here a church providing us with the plus two to public order allegiance is going up for us uh, we have to stop taxing the province, unfortunately. My warriors are on I think that's about it for now, right? Let's just end the turn. Keep that little money we have, though we can't spend it on anything other than recruiting. I think we'll upgrade the range troops that we have here. He's bringing another one stack army. He thinks he can take over the towns or something. But we will be taking over his big town and then march through the same path over to him. He wants to do what? Oh, he wants to go against us. We don't have the money to pay him off. We'll just ignore him for now. We're upgrading our javelins to Alban Javelin Man. Meaning an extra... We're at 40 missile damage. That's good. Everybody standard. Gonna take him at least two turns to get there. Our at this legendary. point, we can actually go ahead. He might Let's actually be doing heads. some damage to us. Let's build some siege weapons. He he has some strong units here. Into battle. But it's nothing that we won't be able to take on. And just Not in case he will be able to. I don't know, if he gets close to the monastery, I'll probably recruit a different unit. Uh, a, a different general to, to reinforce that particular area. And then I'll probably move the general north. We'll see. So what do we want to do next? If we go to civics, there's nothing. Maybe this, go for... Actually, let's do that. Let's go for civic research. Water mills. Mm, might come in handy. Definitely supplies is something that we want and definitely the public order. At this point, 
upgrading actually upgrading the spears might be a good idea too so let's go for the spears and then for public order and everything else we have on hand we're at minus three here from allegiance mostly but we're going to take over this town so that won't matter for long do i want to recruit anything here not right now king i want you to keep moving forward strat clut prepare for warman you don't have a lot of places to expand Yep, so he is bringing his one stack over here. And during the next turn, I think he will be able to march to this place. Declare your authority plus one influence for myself. So this man has been whispering rumors behind your back, riling up the people. You probably shouldn't stand for, for it now, lest it become a much bigger problem later on. Either pay him for sins, silence for 2000 gold. I wouldn't do that either way at this point. Oh, he has a lot of influence. So declare your authority plus one influence there. Hayden Raiders. Okay, not close to us. That's okay. Or that's very useful for, I would say, more than anything. Let's see. Yep, he can get to the monastery. Let's recruit a new general. Plus free morale when attacking. Yes, yes please. And I will give you... Some spears, some axes, I, uh, an axe unit would be good. Maybe a bow infantry or a crossbow. Or two spears instead actually. Let's have that army in. Let's go to... Is it this our first siege battle? I think it's our second siege battle, right? A nice city up on a hill. I really hope there is snow during this battle. Because we haven't really seen it. We haven't really seen maps with snow on them. I don't really remember at least. So, yeah, dry weather, there's not snow, at least it's not green, there's this kind of dirt area and we can see snowy mountains in the background, that's really beautiful. Okay, how do we want to do this? Do we want to go through here or through this part actually? This place has a lot more space to maneuver. This place does not let's Ready. put our troops like this I am going to swords swords have better melee skills might be more useful to actually bring the swords up but maybe we keep the swords to reinforce the area instead so, and for now we're going to put our siege weapons like this one on this side, Jav the upgraded javelin men, the alban javelins. We're going to push here in front just to skirmish a little bit, attract some of the fire. Then we will have the swordsmen stay behind, ready to go up the ladder. We're going to keep some spears in as well, we're going to push some of that forward. These are gatehouse with oil, so if we go ahead, no, we're not going to go ahead with with the Axeman. We're going to go ahead with the spears, horseman, horseman there, general here, dogs in the back. Unless we capture the gates, we don't care about it. So their troops are mostly in the city. I wonder how they'll respond to us. Loose at will. For now, archers, archers, javelin men. We're being fired on. 
We're gonna shoot. On the double! Pound the earth! Bring their walls down! We're gonna shoot at their javelin man. On the double! Or maybe maybe to the exposed archers would be better. Because the javelins have that roof over their head. Yeah, and we're doing quite a bit of a number on them. Uh, yeah, bring this forward. I think these troops can actually go there. These troops here can go here. This spear will bring it like this. Yeah, so the javelins, even though they're taking quite a bit of casualties, they're doing quite well right now in reducing these archers, especially as they fire fire arrows upon us. Let's fast forward it a little bit. So there we have it, we're actually breaking their archers there. I'm gonna throw some javelins in the midst of these troops because they've all bunched up making it great for us we're almost at the wall almost ready to push in and who do we engage first? The king, the this Eastman warband, the general. I think that might be the best idea. We do have some Eastman fighters, Axman, Axman in the back. Okay, go through there. Go through this particular ladder, please. I'm gonna bring these troops up through here and these people are up now I'm gonna bring these swords through here and these spears through here nice Let's bring these troops forward, javelin man, javelin, javelins didn't die, that's a big sign of the quality of troops we have available, especially in this campaign. The enemy gate has been destroyed, which means we can actually go through here as well. Dogs, let's release them. Bring these troops on the side like this. The battle is turning in our favor. Nice, nice. I think things are going quite well for us. We just need to go there. They are leaving the field. Enemies beware. Smash them! Okay, javelins, you stay in the back. What broke here? Alban Levy, okay. Let's bring our general up close. You go after them. You are here. You focus on that. These troops are breaking. It's nice we have some spears here engaging archers or javelin men. Good. Let's go through here. It's nice we've captured the gates, now we can bring our cab in as well, with a huge charge. 
Drive the horses! Forward. Attack! Strike now! Swordsman! Ready! Hit hard! Perfect! Annihilate them! Now those archers broke. We just need. We need them to do this. Annihilate them! Swordsman! Enemies beware! Strike now! Attack! Yeah, and I think that's about it. We've done pretty well here. I would say so myself. I think we did really well. We still have a bunch of troops left. We will be able to uh, reinforce, to replenish them to full strength while marching towards the west, taking on Sudeyar's armies. I don't know what to think about this military ally of ours. Hopefully we will be able to annex him at some point instead of uh, fighting him instead. What do you want to do here? You can count on should us. I leave this? I'm thinking whether I should leave this building in place or not. It costs us 100 per turn. It gives us some experience. We have a smithy. We will, we will upgrade our you. armors on the next turn. For the glory of the gales. And we are at minus 36 food. If we do this, we'll be a, at 14 food. That is good. Loyalty, low loyalty to this new general of ours. War is I really bad. need some money to upgrade the moot heal. This building has to be upgraded to level 3 in order to unlock uh, that research that is very necessary for us and for the extra loyalty. Right, if you take a look here, it's, where is it, is it this one? Yeah, so we do need this one. This requires market hall or long ports chain to be upgraded. Do we have a long port here? I don't think so. Harbor port, nope, it's just a simple port. Maybe we can take one of these and they maybe they have a long port. We shall see. For the moment, I think this is our turn. Let's end it. Okay, he's running away. That is awesome. A 17 stack going north. Maybe he's going around the island. Okay, Regan. Regan has good loyalty on us. This man has been planning to overthrow your rule, aiming no lower than the crown upon your head. The, there are a number of options opening, open to you, but doing nothing is not one of them. So we could actually gain... It's better to talk. He has good loyalty. I don't want to kill him just yet. He's a great general. Let's say it's better to talk. And what else? You know what we'll do? We'll, we're going we to go to him. Uh, which one is that particular? Riga here, right? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is go to him. Pay some money to lower his influence. And now he's at... Eight, well, nine, because he had some extra. Maybe this will make him okay with us on the next round. If we go ahead, how much do we need to upgrade? How much can we upgrade, actually? Fifty. Okay. So we'll wait one more turn and then use this to upgrade. What we can actually do is march. Good and ready. 
I think that by the time we exit this forest, we might even be fully replenished. So for now, we'll keep that money just for one turn. Our bravery is legendary. I'm gonna keep him here. Maybe he's going to get some good traits, good loyalty traits. Uh, what else? None shall stand Nothing here. Us. Bring our king closer. Get him ready to fight Stratklut. I guess I'll bring the king here. I'll use this army to go here. Well met, friend. He's happy with that. Create Basil. He, he doesn't want it. Does he like to? Would he like to annex? No. Governance available in Yarmoreb. What kind of... We have farms. We have a church. If we want to bring in a governor, we could bring the farmer actually. Yeah, let's do that. He's 22. He has a lot of time to become... Uh, quite a, uh, a good character he gains plus five per extra income from churches which is good minus 10 percent cost for workshop buildings so he has quite a few traits on him that would make this area quite quite strong and i like that let's end the turn let's see what's gonna happen next Two Dayars keeps running away from us. We're going to take him out in the near future. Like, I do see one more. We have these relics, like this huge stone pile pillars. Hmm. Public order minus six. The people don't respond well to enforced authority, especially when someone with an agenda whispers in their ears. Yeah, not great. But it's good we have a pretty stable... ...in a region. What should we do? Would I be able to split some of these troops? I'm not they sure that I can take glory. them on properly. Uh, can I upgrade everybody fall. now? No. I want to upgrade these melee troops, first of all. Do they cost more? 50 gold, 50 gold, 50 gold. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. Yeah. So now they all have level one weapons and armor so we can just go ahead march towards him you can for this us. army we'll just leave you like this any new traits no just the governor oh no everybody got minus three public order to all regions so, do, can we afford to go down a level? No. Can we afford doing something like this? Not gonna mean a whole lot. Going to negative food is not a better choice either. Let's see, well, what territory is... Like, I think this territory is quite unhappy. Yeah. Buildings, events, and allegiance. We will not fail you. Should I put an army in there? I don't think so. So these are the territories that are in the most danger. We take them off. They won't have a risk of rebellion anymore. But we're losing food too. And if we're gonna lose food... We're getting public order penalties either way. 
Oof. I guess we'll just wait. Hope for the best. Sudair has a 13 stack army there. Apparently he is going ahead and wants to meet us. Maybe he doesn't see us. A little kindness clearly goes a long way. The man has ceased his unhelpful plotting and has instead begun to praise you. So it was okay that we we talked to him. Potad became influential, minus one loyalty and plus one to governance. Hmm. And I just took a look at the clock. We are 40 minutes in. So I guess it's time to put a cut. I thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Have a wonderful day everyone.